Alba here. For this video, we're going to work on our loose leash walking. So this is walking with them not pulling us. Now, Bubba may be small, but I know he's got some serious muscle in there, so I don't want him to pull me down the street, and I don't want him to be pulling so hard he's choking himself, okay? So, when we're working on loose leash walking, the first thing you're gonna do, you give him the full length of the leash. So this is probably a six foot leash or so. So we wanna make sure we give him the full leash that way we really know when he's pulling. As soon as that leash is tight, that's when he, you know he's starting to pull and that's when we give him our, our um, correction, okay? So first things first, as soon as Bubba starts pulling, we're going on a walk. Come on, Bubba, let's go on a walk. Come on, good boy. Let's go on a walk. So as soon as Bubba starts pulling, even if he's behind me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Bubba, come here. Good. So that is telling him that he needs to follow me. I'm the alpha dog. He needs to stay um, in kind of, kind of right next to me instead of walking too far behind or too far ahead, okay? So Bubba, back. Good boy. So what I'm doing is if he starts pulling out in front of me, the first thing I do is I plant my feet. So I don't let him get any, you know, any space in between us. Um, as soon as he starts pulling, I'm going to plant my feet and I'm going to tell him to come back. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, and what everyone likes to do, is the automatic reaction is to pull back on that leash. We want to try to refrain from doing that because it's giving Bubba the chance to be like, oh, we're playing a game, I'm going to pull harder. So we don't want that. So as soon as Bubba starts pulling, plant your feet. I want you to lean down to your side and say, Bubba. So you're going to have your hand down low, that way it's on Bubba's eyesight, eye level, and you want to kind of snap your fingers and, or even tap your leg and say Bubba back. And as soon as Bubba comes back, then that's basically um, the treat. So there's no treat in this one. So as, <laughs> so as soon as Bubba comes back, then we can continue our walk and we can keep going, okay? So, Bubba. the loose leash walking, if you guys are out walking and Bubba's pulling, 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 and you're sitting there going back, and he's not coming back, and he's not coming back, what I want you to do, turn 180 degrees and say, Bubba, this way, and he's going to follow you right on through. I don't even need to pull the leash. You can give it a little, a little bit of a jerk just to kind of get his attention, but you're just going to go this way. This is teaching Bubba that he has to follow you no matter what. You're leading the walk, not him, okay? So, good job, Bubba. Yes, you're a good boy. So with these, with these um, kind of methods of doing the loose leash walking, you don't need a treat. The treat is you guys get to keep walking. That's the best treat of all, right? So, first method. You guys are walking. Bubba starts pulling. Plant your feet. Say, Bubba, back. Bubba's going to come back. Good job. You can even give him a little pet. There's a good boy. And then you continue walking. Come on, let's keep going. Go boy. Other method is if you're trying that one, you put your feet, you bring him back, he's not coming back. What you're gonna do? 180 degrees. Bubba, this way. Good boy. And he comes on right next behind me. Good boy. <laughs> So when you guys are doing these leash walking, um, I like to have you do at least a one walk a day. Um, that's going to help Bubba kind of learn, you know, not to pull when you guys are out. Plus it gives him, you know, extra time outside to kind of get all of his energy out. So um, at least one walk a day. Make sure every single time he starts pulling, every time that leash gets tight, I want you to try one or one method or the other method. Either the stop and bring him back, or the this way and change direction and have him follow you, okay? Don't ever let him get away with it. Now that you guys have the methods in your, in your idea, we don't want to screw him up, so we want to make sure that he's not pulling ever. We don't want to let him get away with it, because if he gets away with it, just like a kid, he's going to try to push it as far as he can. So, if Bubba's not a puller, you can just practice these when you guys are out. Um, anytime he does pull, you know, try one method or the other. 
One may work better for you than another one does. So just try them out, see how they go. Um, one walk a day, and make sure you don't let Bubba get away with anything, okay? So this was Stephanie and Bubba, and we were working on our loose leash walking. <laughs>